The quieter the movement of the performer, the more readily will the spectators be amazed. Jean Eugène Robert Houdin, legendary watchmaker, magician, illusionist, and father of modern day magic. Why should you consider this legend's quote advice in four minutes or less? Jean Eugène Robert was an unlikely modern day magician. His mother passed away when he was young and then he was sent to the University of Orléans at age 11. He graduated when he was 18 and returned to his hometown, Blois, France. Jean Eugène's father was a watchmaker and he wanted his son to become a lawyer. Instead, Jean Eugène wanted to become a watchmaker just like his father. Having excellent penmanship, he landed a job as a clerk at an attorney's office. However, he spent his time tinkering with mechanical gadgets when he was supposed to be studying law. Jean Eugène Robert Houdin would eventually become a legendary magician and illusionist. As a strange intervention of fate, in the mid-1820s, he saved up to buy a copy of a two-volume set of books on clockmaking called Traite de l'horlogerie, Treaty on Watchmaking. However, when he got home and opened the package, he received a two-volume set on magic called Scientific Amusements. He did not return those books. His curiosity got the better of him. It would be those books that would spark his obsession and change his life path. He practiced his newfound craft for hours and hours every day. He found that learning about magic from books was remarkably difficult due to the lack of details. So, he began taking lessons from a local amateur magician. Jean Eugène paid 10 francs for a series of lessons from a man called Maus, who was also a podiatrist from his own town. His new mentor taught Robert Houdin to juggle and improve his hand-eye coordination and that digital dexterity came from massive deliberate practice. He performed at social parties as a professional magician in Europe and the United States. One of these parties was for Count de l'Escalapier. The Count became his financial backer, investing 15,000 francs to transform the gardens of Palais Royal into a 200-seat theater. It was a huge flop. He had a massive case of stage fright, and remarked that he talked too fast, in monotone, and that everything was a blur. After the show, Robert Houdin nearly had a nervous breakdown. Interestingly, it was his friend's insult saying the venture was a silly idea that snapped him out of it. His friend made Robert Houdin so mad, he regained his courage and began trying again with renewed vigor. The 40-year-old unpolished magician would now get better with each performance. His relentless perseverance and commitment to get better eventually paid off. Robert Houdin changed the way that magic was looked upon. Before him, magicians performed in market bazaars, sideshows, and fairs, strictly for the lower classes. Robert Houdin brought performances to theaters and private parties. He also chose to wear formal tuxedos during his performances, now a tradition for many modern magicians. This was in stark contrast to the magicians of the time, who often dressed in wizard-like costumes. Robert Houdin's theater became a mecca for magic enthusiasts. Even King Louis Philippe, Queen Victoria, and the European elite would request private performances. Incredibly, in 1856, he was even asked by Louis Napoleon, the president of France, to stop a potential rebellion in French Algeria by showing that French magic was stronger than the local religious mystics' faux magical abilities. After Robert Houdin's performances for chiefs of various tribes were done, the chiefs were again loyal to France. He also wrote several books on magic and inspired future generations to become magicians. Jean Eugène Robert Houdin is considered amongst the greatest magicians of all time, as well as the father of modern magic. SuccessfulDailyHabits.com Be legendary.